Hello dear friends, hope you're doing well. QRS is the topic of today. Before beginning, I'd like to invite you to subscribe for Medical Philic and to press that like button and to share the video with your friends, if you like the video of course. And I promise you at the end of this video, you're going to master the most important clinical notes in QRS. And there will be a very important note at the end of this video, so stay tuned. QRS is called QRS complex because it contains three waves. Q -R -S. And the normal duration of QRS is between 70 to 100 milliseconds. And in some patients, 120 milliseconds, for example in athletes. We have simplified QRS normalities and abnormalities into four main categories. Widening, shortening, high voltage, and low voltage. Before getting into the narrowing and widening of the QRS complex, let's talk about the Q wave. The Q wave, it is present in the normal ECGs. But when do we call it pathological Q wave? In case that in length it becomes more than 25% of the preceding R wave and in width or duration it becomes more than one millimeter or more than one small square. This is called pathological Q wave and it is one of the indications for MI. At the beginning there is an important note. Any signal coming from the ventricle itself gives us wide QRS complex or broad QRS complex and any signal coming above the ventricle gives us narrow QRS complex. Let's begin with the narrow QRS complex. To understand the narrowing of the QRS complex, we have classified it into physiological and pathological. And the physiological causes, the signal is coming from above the ventricle, which is the SA node. An example is physiological sinus tachycardia without any abnormality. Here QRS is narrow and the signaling is from the SA node. And the pathological causes, for example, SVT, atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter. These are examples where we are having Narrow QRS complex, but in pathological causes. Coming to the widening of the QRS, we said that if the signal is coming from the ventricle, it causes broad complex or wide QRS complex. And we have divided the causes of widening of the QRS complex into cardiac causes, metabolic causes, and then drugs. Beginning with the cardiac causes. Atrial fibrillation with block. In case that the atrial fibrillation without a block, it has narrow QRS. But in case of atrial fibrillation with block, there will be widening of the QRS or broad complexes. Also in case of the SVT with a block, SVT without a block has narrow QRS complex. SVT with a block has broad QRS complex. Also with the ventricular extrasystole or ventricular ectopic beat or ventricular premature beats. These are the names of the ectopic beats of the ventricle. Also in ventricular tachycardia, ventricular fibrillation and the bundle branch block whether left or right bundle of branch block. And at the end, WPW syndrome, Wolf Parkinson White syndrome. Coming to the metabolic causes, hyperkalemia or hypermagnesemia. And the other metabolic cause, hypothermia. Coming to the drugs, one of the most important drugs is digoxine, tricyclic antidepressants, and sodium channel blockers, for example, flaconide, procainamide, propafenone, quinidine, other drugs like, for example, lithium, cocaine, and diphenhydramine. Coming to the high voltage QRS, it is important to see the calibration of the ECG paper. The normal calibration of the ECG paper is two large squares in height and in duration, one large square. That is 10 small squares in height and five small squares in width. This is the normal calibration of the ECG needle on the ECG paper, that is, the calibration is the amount of amplitude or height the needle is recording when it gets voltage from the body. If the calibration was higher than two large squares, let's assume it was three large squares, okay, the amplitude of the R wave will be high and the patient is not suffering from any disease. And the mistake here, not making the calibration on the standard measurement, which is two large squares in height. So in case that the calibration was standard and the voltage is high of the QRS complex, we think of the left ventricular hypertrophy. Coming to the low voltage QRS, we also should pay attention to the calibration. And as we said here, if the calibration was smaller than the standard measurement, Every wave in the ECG will look short and low voltage. And this is one of the major mistakes to put the patient on the wrong management. 
If the calibration was on the standard measurement, low voltage QRS may be due to physiological causes, for example, fatty person, the soft tissue between the electrodes of the ECG and the heart being thicker than thin individuals. In the pathological causes, if there is air between the heart and the electrodes, for example, in emphysema or in pneumothorax, fluid, for example, pleural effusion, pericardial effusion, heart failure, in tissue, for example, there is restrictive cardiomyopathy. There is tissue between the heart itself and the electrodes. And in muscular weakness in the myocardium of the heart, for example, dilated cardiomyopathy. It is important to know that QRS is different in the V1 than in, in the V6. In V1, the big wave is S wave, which is negative. And in V6, the, the big wave is the R wave, which is positive. And the size of the S wave is being reduced as much as we go to the V6. And the size of the R wave is being increased as much as we go to the V6. This is in the normal situation. And from this important note, in case we have seen positive R wave in V1, for example, like this, R wave in V1, there is either one of the following, right bundle branch block, posterior MI, dextrocardia, wrong connection. It is important to remember that SVT with block may look like VT in the ECG, if you couldn't distinguish between those two arrhythmias, manage as VT, and we are going to make a separate video to distinguish between those two rhythms. Hope this concludes the QRS complex normalities and abnormalities, and it is as simple as this. Don't forget to subscribe for Medical Philic and to press that like button and share the video if you like it with your friends. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.